You know, uh, first off, well, I, just give me your thoughts on what you just heard from Iger. Uh, you know, I love Bob Iger. He's right. Um, you know, I miss Bob Iger in that in, in a leadership role in terms of putting this in perspective. Bob is right. There's going to be winners and losers. It's going to happen sooner than people think, I believe. Michael, right now, from a stock market perspective, it doesn't feel like there's anything but losers. Um, and, you know, I'm just curious in terms of your coverage universe and, and what you're looking at. Uh, I know you have, a, I think, a market perform on Disney right now. But even today, it just looks ugly. Obviously, Warner Brothers Discovery down another 3 percent. But what can you say here positively about this ecosystem that you and I obviously talk about a lot in terms of the stocks? Anything? David, David. We have a buy on Fox because Fox is not in the streaming business. We have a sell on Paramount because we think they're not going to be able to scale. What can you say positively is that we're hopefully closer to the end of this war where people will start acting more rationally, right? But you and I, we've talk, you and I have been saying this for a while. It's about margins, profitability, return on capital. It's just it's a really tough time to be in this business right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny because the journal reporting on Netflix cutting back on things like T-shirts and, you know, mugs and what, uh, things of that nature. But I do wonder, Michael, when are we going to start to see the real cutbacks, which is in how much we're spending on content? When does this so-called war, you know, Zaslav has sort of been inching towards that, it would seem a bit. But what are your thoughts? OK, so we need we need the families to get together. We need the, the Roberts family the Redstone family and the Malone family to sit down in a room and figure out how can we put together some combination of these streaming services to scale, right? That's, you've got Netflix and Disney, that's clear. Then you have these other guys who are basically giving away their product to drive subscribers, right? And that's not gonna end well. So I think we just need the families to sit down, but there's a ton of ego involved. You know, not everyone is gonna come to the same conclusion that they're we need to scale uh, or combine. So, David, it's like the worst part of this industry is that you don't have uh, independent boards or independent companies. You've got to control the assets, right? And in a normal situation, you would have shareholders pushing these companies to divest or consolidate. And until the families decide it's time to change, we're in this malaise. You know, like I wrote yesterday that you're seeing like the NFL on Peacock, which I know is Peacock's owned by Comcast, your parent company. They're giving away Peacock, basically, with the NFL on it. Like, that's not a good outcome. But they need to grow subs, so they figure let's give away the subs for a couple months to get people sampled. But until those companies change strategies and change, the owners wake up to this reality, we're stuck. I'm thinking it's 2023. I think they, they realize by middle of next year they need to do something more, more drastic, right? right. Uh, which uh, is like you know, look to consolidate. Right. Carl's got a question for you. But I would point out, Warner Brothers Discovery not controlled. I mean, Malone gave up his vote, as you well know, Michael. So you're really talking about the Robertses and the Redstones. Right. That, well, that's to you. you know, your point, it's a good one on, on Warner Brothers Discovery. That's a big, a big change. And you kind of wonder at some point, like, when do people start looking at that going, look, this, this stock has, has been a disaster. I know they say they expected it. But the business has gotten tougher, right? So I don't know how much I expected things getting this is challenging. And, you know, we can tell you from our investor base, there's just not a lot of interest in WBD right now, given, given the leverage and given the, you know, the business trends in linear. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.